It's our third day here in Melbourne. We have a tour for today. We are going to Yara Valley. So we're going to drink some wine, eat some yummy chocolates and cheese. We're off to an early start because our meetup point is here in St. Paul Cathedral at around 9 a.m. So right now it's about 8.30. We booked our tour via Klok and I'll link it down below so that you can book it too if you're interested in doing this tour. We are initially supposed to do this tour in the latter part of our trip but we felt like it would be better fit with our schedule if we do it on our third day here. Hopefully the weather is going to be great and it's gonna be sunny and not too cold. Yara Valley. It's about 40 minutes away from Melbourne and our first stop is called Yara Valley Berry Farm and we tasted different kinds of cheese and everything was so so good. I really wanted to take home the last cheese that we ate but it wouldn't keep well in our luggage. It would expire. So if you're planning to buy cheese here, might as well just eat it throughout your trip. This is for me. This is our eighth class. <laughs> so we're here at our second stop. This is called Suma. It's one of the boutique wineries that we're visiting. So we're visiting three in total. This is the first one. Here we tasted about eight glasses of wine and we also had a really good lunch. So now we're just taking some photos before heading on to our next wine tasting. Ano, kaya pa Mart? Two more to go guys. <laughs> Kaya pa ba?
This is rosé wine. This is wine that I am best at. We are at our second winery. It's called St. Hubert and we had about five glasses of wine. By far the best wine I've tasted so far in this trip is the dessert wine here. So if you're in the area or if you're planning to drop by then check it out. Guys, my is a winery pa. Kaya pa? <laughs> sure. You go home Martin. Stop. It's called Helen and Joey Vineyard and it's one of the bigger wineries here in Yara Valley. The place is really really huge. We were actually able to spot around five wild kangaroos here and they were so so cute. I wish I could take a photo and show you guys. By now we've already tasted a total of 20 glasses of wine. So medyo sabaw na ako and my mind isn't functioning anymore. After this we're heading to two more stops, a chocolate farm and a brewery and then after that the tour is done already. Because the weather is really nice and it's quite sunny, we were able to have our wine tasting at their outdoor seating area which is really really nice because the view is incredible. It's like a 360 degree view of the entire vineyard and it's just so relaxing and so ganda talaga guys. Dessert wine, the best. Pretty good. Sweet. Just the way I like it. Pretty good. Um, this is the one the only wine I can make this guy. <laughs> Second to the last stop. This is a brewery and we're gonna have beer or a choice of cider. Cherry pie cider and XPA beer. We're here at Beer Store and I ordered cherry pie cider. So I usually don't drink this, but it's really good. Uh, fairness. at the counter and then you can shop for different types of chocolate and sweets here. Sobrang dami, I'll tour you guys. Ice cream shop and cafe over here. We 
are here at our last stop. It's called Yaya Valley Chocolatery and Ice Cream Marie. And it's a sweet way to end our trips. They offer free white, dark, and milk chocolate. Just get spoonfuls for free. So not bad. You can also get different kinds of chocolate souvenirs and ice cream and all kinds of sweets here. Guys, they also have chocolate body oil. Ayan. Chocolate everything talaga dito. Chocolate body scrub. Soap. And their packaging is so cute. Chocolate. This is milk. White. This is my favorite chocolate. And dark. Kuha ulit siya, guys. <laughs> may baon yan. <laughs> may topperware yan na dala. Medyo intense po to. <laughs> One kilo. Ang dami. It looks like poop, guys. <laughs> Officially done with our tour and all I can say is that it's really worth it. We were able to eat lots of food and drink lots and lots of wine as in sobrang dami. I recommend our tour. I'll link it down below. I highly recommend that you book a trip here if you're in Melbourne because it's really really beautiful. There's so many greens everywhere and so many animals and it's just relaxing and really breathtaking. What I really loved about our Yara Valley tour is that it wasn't really rushed unlike most tours that you often go to so it's really well paced and also well planned so we're able to visit three wineries a chocolate factory a dairy farm and we are able to do this from around 9 to 6 p.m and i feel like it was a good amount of time to see the entire place So we're back in our hotel and I just wanted to give a quick tour review on our Yara Valley experience So I wasn't able to mention some of these details earlier. First of all, our tour costs about 4,700 pesos So that includes transportation, lunch, driver, wine tasting for three wineries And then a dairy farm visit and chocolate factory visit <laughs> So I think it's pretty worth it because of the amount of alcohol we were able to consume and also the food. But one of the reasons why we decided to book a tour instead of doing it on our own is because you can drink and drive. So actually it's very possible to do it on your own. You can just rent a car and visit a winery and just walk in. But since we have to be safe and we want to enjoy, then we decided to book a tour instead. So just a heads up, if you're planning to do it, maybe you can go with someone who won't drink. <laughs> so if I were to do it all over again, I would just visit one winery because three is quite too much. But the good thing about visiting the past three wineries that we went to is that I got to realize what I like and didn't like. And I was able to figure out my wine palette. So that's it. Tomorrow we are going on our own own adventure so watch out for that It's our sixth day here, so time flies really fast. So the past two days, we did the Great Ocean Road Tour. So if you're interested to watch it, subscribe to my channel because I'll have a separate vlog entirely for that. So right now, we are in our next Airbnb. So before anything else, I'll give you guys a quick tour. Love these inspirational frames. It's our dining area and then we have here our bed then beside it we have heater fresh towels and we have a sofa here I love the interiors and then we have a huge TV set over here then we have here the wardrobe and then a full ref and then a microwave here we have the kitchen area so 
everything is sparkling clean. And the space is quite huge for a studio unit. This is our private garage. I think our only comment is it's really, really tight and only good for small cars. The layout is quite weird because this is the entrance and then we have the toilet and bath over here. See, there's a sink over here. Uh, full body mirror and some storage. So this is the toilet and bath. Very, very, very clean. So the layout is just really awkward because you have to go out and pass here to get to your room but it's locked naman so we rented a car for the great ocean road so i made sure to get an airbnb with parking our airbnb is very posh and very well designed it just has an awkward layout but the interior is made up for it it's really really spacious so the only issue i guess would be the parking because it's really tight as in martin spent about 20 minutes just parking because it was really really difficult so our agenda for today is to see the rest of melbourne on our second day here we visited most of the tourist sites so i think I think it's very feasible to do the entire city within just a few days. So we're just gonna take it slow today and enjoy more of the city. It's finally sunny and warm. Hopefully it stays like this throughout the day. <laughs> Martin ordered chili scrambled egg with a slice of thick bacon. It's really thick, guys. Look at that juiciness. So this is my crushed avocado with peas. And look at that slab of halloumi, guys. It's so thick. I'm so excited. Look at that amount of serving. It's so huge. That is really some fresh avocado, like wow. And the bread is not your ordinary bread. Huh? It's kind of like toasted and burnt on the side and it's just so good. So the dough tastes like a multi-grain bread and it's burnt on the edges which gives it like so much more flavor. And the avocado is really 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 fresh. Lumi is quite thick and it's really generous but it's not as good as the one I tried in Cappadocia. It's a bit tough and hard to cut but it's a good pairing with the toast. For the price, it's quite on the high side but I think it's worth it because of the amount of serving. Like I couldn't even finish the two toasts. This is the best avocado toast I've eaten in my life so far. Here to the Brighton Beach. 
So this is known for their colorful house boxes, as you can see. It's like a really, really, really long line of houses that are super Instagrammable, as in everyone, as in everyone is taking photos per house. <laughs> We're just gonna choose our home. Guys, it's really, really, really windy and there's so much people. So I suggest if you're gonna take a photo, pick the boxes that match your outfit. So I'm only going to the ones that are pastel colored. Because if I go to everything, voila. we will stay here for hours and Martin will hate me now. <laughs> the beach and it's really really windy it's really breezy and it's such a chill place to end our day it's around 5 p.m. already and the Sun is still up I can barely open my eyes just a beach and then there's like a big field at the back where there's a lot of open space where people are just chilling eating and hanging around so that's what we're gonna do as well. Great way to end our sixth day here. We're currently shopping at Woolworth. So it's another grocery store. So we're getting souvenirs here and they have a lot of chocolate. So Australia is known for Tim Tam. And we have this in the Philippines, but they have a lot more flavors here. So I'll show you guys the unique flavors that they have here. Kebab, so we're about to try their famous halal snack pack, which is a must try here in Melbourne. So it's something similar to poutine, which has fries, sauce, and different toppings. This is just a small serving size. It's huge. Look at all the sauce and the meat. This is mixed chicken and lamb topping with a lot of sauce. The shock ba siya? Yeah. This is his. This is the waiter's first small serving. <laughs> How is it? Good. Good? It's not a snack guys, it's a real meal. Like so much meat and then the fries are underneath. So just a tip if you're gonna order the HSP, order the small serving eaters because the servings are quite big. Actually generally here in Melbourne, the serving sizes are quite large and ready for sharing. Just get the small serving first and then see if it's good enough for you. 